Welcome back, everybody. Today we're kicking off Valkyria Chronicles 2. I previously did a playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles 4 and Valkyria Chronicles 1. Valkyria Chronicles 2 and 3 were on the PlayStation Portable, and I have literally never played either of them at all, even a little bit. I have no idea what this story is. I don't know the gameplay. I don't know how it's different. I know nothing. I am so excited about this. Like, it's bonkers. Oh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So you will notice I'm playing this uh, through, a place, uh, through a uh, computer. And so, uh, you know, there's, it's upscaled a little bit. But, you know, this was on the PlayStation Portable. So a handheld console from a while ago. So, um, you know, you kind of have to bear with the uh, graphics just a little bit. But I'll tell you, you know, the... Uh, the kind of cuts the uh, intro uh, cutscene and whatnot looks looks pretty darn good from what I've seen. Here it comes, Sega. and uh, man, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I don't know when this game is set. Certainly, looks like we've got some familiar weapons there. Oh, there we go. Tanks. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Just casual grenades in your locker. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely saw, I mean, we definitely saw like a Valkyria there. We, I think I saw a blimp. I, I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm not totally sure here, but let's, uh, let's dive right into this. Uh, I will link the, uh, so the playlists for the other, um, Valkyria Chronicle games are linked in the description and I'll put the, uh, this playlist in the pinned comment. Okay, uh, we'll do new game, do normal, ah yes, the memory stick, yeah we'll overwrite that one, that's fine. Turned it on to make sure everything was running the right. Year, 1935. Two powers stood poised for war. The East European Imperial Alliance, and in the West, the Atlantic Federation. Open conflict erupted as they vied for control of the continent. The Second European War had begun. Caught between giants, the small principality of Gallia. No small prize Gallia possessed rich deposits of ragnite ore, a valuable energy source. The Imperial Alliance marched on Gallia, hoping to claim those resources for its own. The Empire conquered more than half of Gallia before the Gallian militia turned the tide and expelled the invaders. 1937. Two years have passed since the Imperial Alliance invaded Gallia. But across the continent, the fires of war still rage. Hmm. So we're two years... Yeah, 1937. Okay. I'm looking for an Avon Hardent. Well, looks like you found him. <laughs> what can I do for you? 
My name is Hubert Brixham. I instruct at the Landseal Royal Military Academy. Man, keep in mind, this was on a, like, the PlayStation Portable. Look it up sometime if you're not familiar. Like, the voice acting and everything. Okay, briefly though, so Valkyria Chronicles 1, you know, occurred within 1935. I think all total it took place over like six months. Um, and then Valkyria Chronicles 4, I can't recall what date it ended, but clearly the war did not end after that. I mean, Gallia was at least no longer, you know, the target of an invasion. But, uh, so now we're, we're two years in the future. Okay. Hi, Hubert. Hey, my brother Leon goes there. You'll confirm that this is your brother then? Yep. That's him, all right. So, how's he doing? I realize this is sudden, and it pains me to be the bearer of sad tidings. But your brother, Leon Hardens, has passed away. Whoa, dude. Wh what? I offer you my sincerest condolences. Hey, w wait, just a minute. Why is... How did he die? All that goes on at the Academy is classified for national security. No. Oh. It's always a frustrating answer. I'm afraid I cannot tell you any of the details surrounding his death. You can't tell me! That's messed up! I'm his family! Leon wouldn't... My brother can't be dead. Man, that's crazy! He was stronger than anybody I ever... What? That was nearby. Bad news, Ivan. We got rebels. They're attacking Melvir. Rebels? Now? Of all the times they could pick. Grab your guns, guys. We'll join the town guard and send them packing. Oh, okay. Just remember what we all learned back in training, and we'll be fine. Now let's go! I get. I don't recall where we are. So this is in. This is in Gallia. A rebel encounter. I mean, Melvir. I don't. I don't know where that is. I mean, I'm guessing that's in Gallia. Um. Okay. Here's the situation. Oh, I want to go. Oh, I cannot return to the briefing for this mission. All right. Fine. Um. Avon and two watchmen. All units defeated. Okay. I was hoping it would tell me, like, where we were or something, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's, all right, let's do it. Interesting. So we have rebels. Rebels presumably attacking somewhere in Gallia, even though we're not in the war at this point. Here we go, guys. These rebels are history. Ooh, there's a morale meter. Listen up now. Avon Hardens, there's something I'd like to go over with you. Unit actions. When a mission begins, you'll see a bird's eye view of the battlefield that shows terrain and the positions of units. This screen is called command mode. Command mode is used to select the units that you want to move around the field. Whoops, uh, try selecting a unit that you want to move. Yep, no problem. Good luck out there. Don't forget what I've told you. Okay, so yeah, we can... We'll take okay, a Vaughn here. Go. Oh, wow. Movement. After selecting a unit, you will enter action mode, where you can move the unit around the field and make attacks. Use the analog stick to move a unit. You can move the camera left and right using the L and R buttons and up and down using triangle and X. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the PSP, I guess, only had one one little nubbin. While the unit is moving, the action point AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. When a unit's AP reaches zero, they will be unable to move any further, so keep an eye on the gauge. So very, very similar to what we're used to here. Try moving to the sandbags directly in front of you. Attacking. 
now that you've learned how to move a unit, let's try attacking the enemy. Press the square button while in action mode to switch to target mode. Once the screen is changed, use the L and R buttons to target an enemy and then press the X button to attack. You can also use the analog stick to adjust your aim manually. The enemy will return fire after you have attacked, so keep an eye on your HP. Hmm. So, let's see here. Oh goodness, yeah. Those are the, the shoulder buttons. Okay, well, let's get a little closer. Whoa! Oh. Uh, ah, okay. It is not the button that I thought it would be. No, 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 no. I'm concerned. No. Oh, uh, no. Ending actions. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You can only attack once while moving a unit. Once you have finished moving and made an attack, that unit's action end that unit's action and return to command mode. Press the start button to return to command mode. No, I want to get him target. 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 That's right. Okay. I would like to change the weapon. There we go. And to attack. Coming at you. There we go. All right. I gotta say the uh, the. Certainly the map areas look pretty darn good. I mean, some of the, the even the wording on here, you know, it's a little bit blurry. Um, totally get that. That's all right. I mean, this, this was on a really small screen. Like, if you think the Nintendo Switch's screen is small, um, definitely take a look at the PS Vita sometime. Okay, command points. Selecting a unit in command mode costs one command point. Uh, command points represent your ability to command your squad. You can keep selecting units until you have no command points left. You cannot select any more units once you have used all your command points, so at this point you should end the phase. Uh, okay. So here we'll go. I know Yvonne took some hits there, yeah. One, 143 hit points already is what he's doing. Taking to. action now! Alright, Watchman. Sandbags. Making good use of any sandbags placed on the battlefield will help you gain the upper hand in battle. Crouch. Move close to some sandbags and when crouch appears, press the circle button. The unit will crouch behind the sandbags, giving them cover. Units are harder to hit when they are crouching and also take less damage compared to when they are standing. When moving a unit, it is a good idea to head for any nearby sandbags. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm not doing it. So let's see. Do we get like partner fire like we did in the other game? No, it doesn't look like it, at least not right now. Take this! Alright. I'm, in I'm interested about what the morale system might do, because that is new. Alright, Avon, let's see if we can get you close Moving out. to this other bad guy. Uh, target, please. Oh, there we go. Aim front, I'm guessing that is. FRT, aim front. I mean, yeah, he's looking at us, so we're aiming at his front. Um, Coming at you. Nice. All right. Love the music stings. Love the music stings. We sent them packing. You just killed three people, man. You psycho. Avon. Heartless monster. All right, clear rank. We got XP and cash once again. Very, very familiar stuff here. Whew. That should keep them out of Melvere for a while. A fine bit of leadership, gathering those men in the face of a surprise attack. Apparently, it's a family trait. Hey, you really won't tell me how my brother died. That is correct. It's classified information, I'm afraid. I guess that ends our conversation. <laughs> You'll just have to let me into your academy then. Oh. 
What? You want to enroll? Leon can't be dead. My brother just wouldn't go down that easy. Period. <laughs> I must beg to differ. This certificate of death indicates that he... Spare me the paperwork. <laughs> no. I'm telling you, I don't buy it. Not until I see proof with my own eyes. Hmm. Then I suppose you'll be needing this. What is it? An application for new enrollment at Landseal. You just keep those with you? You just keep those with you at all times? I have to apply? Come on, you said you're a teacher! As a non-scouted applicant, you'll face stricter standards for acceptance. If you still wish to apply, I won't stop you. All are at liberty to try. But if you think just anyone can get in, well, you'll learn soon enough. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, perhaps we'll meet again. Good day. Good day. Probably just lucky that Yvonne did It's just like you always said. If Galley is ever going to be at peace again, guys like us have to fight for it. Application for student enrollment? Fine, I'll pass your stupid test. And then there's gonna be no stopping me. I'm coming for you, Leon. I just like the idea of this guy's like, no, no, he's still alive. Like, it's not even like, you know, crazed, you know, he's firmly in the denial phase here. And, you know, with Valkyria Chronicles, it's very, it's very possible the brother's still alive somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? 1937, the Principality of Gallia. Still reeling from the recent invasion, Gallia now faces new troubles from within. Hmm. Following the ceasefire between Gallia and the Imperial Alliance, the new Archduchess, Cordelia Guy Randgrees hey, hey. chooses to make public her Darkson heritage. Many respond favorably to her candor, but not all. United by their hatred of the Darksons, a group of nobles forms the Gallian Revolutionary Army. Mm. Commonly known as the Rebels, their campaign to purge Gallia of any Darkson influence soon earns them great favor in the South. Hmm. The stage is set for the Gallian Civil War. North versus South, huh? How about that? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, that was uh, that was that was Princess Cordelia, or you know, Archduke at this point. Um, really cool. Let's see. I made up my mind a week ago, Leon, and now here I am, just like that. <laughs> Your school, the Landseal Royal Military Academy. Oof, it sure was a haul, though. My butt's still numb from the train ride. <laughs> Man, is this place big? How many students does a school like this have? Pretty cool to see it for myself after hearing about it from you, Leon. I'll do it. First things first, I've got to go past this entrance exam. I'm trying to figure out what buttons I can press to make the the thing scroll a little faster. So I apologize if I end up skipping something right here. Nope. Okay, maybe triangle. Nope. They said I need to change into uniform and get to the classroom. Here goes. Lanseal Royal Military Academy. The oldest and most prestigious martial institution in all of Gallia. Here cadets drill tirelessly to live up to the standards set by those who have gone before. The school motto never far from their thoughts. Victory through diligence, peace through strength. Hmm. Intru what? This is kind of cool. 
Uh, all right. Um, here, hang on. I wanted to check. Um, options. What do I? Text display speed. We'll we'll do. We'll do instant, so we're not um, getting bogged down. Waiting for them. Uh, we'll d we'll just do fast for now. We'll see how fast it goes. Okay. Classroom event to view. <laughs> Dang, I look pretty good in this outfit. That's got to be a good sign. But what kind of school makes you wear a uniform just to get on campus? I know Leon said access was restricted when I asked if I could visit. National security and blah blah blah. Outsiders arrested on site. Brutal! Well, that's the military for you. At least I got the this loner for the exams. <sighs> First up's the written test. Ugh, brain work was never my forte. I think this calls for a dip into the Leon files. Hmm, no, no. Ah, perfect! Your greatest adversary lies within. Wage war with the weakness in yourself. Dang, that's so true, bro. You always had the best quotes. I'll do it! Alright, Leon, I'm gonna go do this. Wish me luck. Hmm. Hey, is this seat taken? Nope. All yours. Thanks a lot. Hey, so, uh, my name's Yvonne. Nice to oh, meet you. Uh, hi. My name's Cosette Yvonne. It's really nice to meet you. And thanks for the seat. Hey, any time. Huh? I'm trying to concentrate, if you don't mind. <laughs> Honestly. Whoa. This is like a this is like ace attorney pose right there. Um <laughs> You're not the only ones trying to take a test here. Quiet down. Oh right, sorry. I'll be super quiet. Whoop. What's your problem, man? You don't have to be all rude about it. I'm not even gonna attempt different voices, just FYI. Come on, we're all in this together. We should be supportive here. Huh. Supportive? Look, I came here because I was scouted. Thanks, but I don't need support from some starry-eyed applicant. What? <laughs> She's getting sick? What's happening? What? Cassette, are you, are you okay? What's wrong? <laughs> I was trying so hard to stay quiet, I, I kind of stopped breathing. <laughs> what? How did that seem like a good idea to you? I'm, I'm right there with you, Van. Honestly. Ugh, it's like a train wreck. I don't want to stare, but... Hey, she was only doing it because of your jerk comment. <laughs> I don't recall asking her to asphyxiate, though it's sounding more appealing. Just a minute. Quiet in the back. The test is set to start. Huh. Hmm. Jerk. Hey! Let's just all get through this, yeah? Good luck, guys. Hey. Hey, look at that guy with the dark blue hair. That's a Darkson, yeah? Ugh, are they even allowed in here? So much for high standards. Hmm. The test will begin now. I'll be passing out your question booklets. Pencils down. I'll collect your response sheets now. Next up is the field exam. Dress for combat and report to the drill ground. <sighs> Blah. I managed to get to all the questions, but I was mostly guessing. Guess I'll just have to make up for it on the field exam. Here 
Interesting. Yeah, okay, saving. Yep, yep. Saving is a good idea before any combat op. Anything can happen out there. All right, well, I mean, hey, we'll drop, we'll drop a save. No big deal. Okay. Saves right over. Saves right over our existing save. I'm Rodriguez. That's sir to you. I'm the proctor oh, for your field exam. That's, uh, that's, that's... Ah, boy, I don't know that we ever got his name, but that certainly looks like the drill instructor from Valkyria Chronicles 1. All right, Rodriguez, what do you got? You will now form teams of three and participate in simulated combat. Answer when called. Cosette Colherth. Y yes sir Next is Zari. Yes, sir. Last up, Avon Hardens. Yo, sir. <laughs> you are team A. Hey, we're on the same team, Avon. Let's give it our best shot. <laughs> you bet. All set to go, Zari? Just my luck I get the two of you dumped on me. <laughs> Excuse me? You care to repeat that, tough guy? Uh, hey guys, stop it! We should focus on the test now. Pipe down, maggots! If you're ready to begin, step forward. <laughs> you won't be using live ammo here, but a hit to the wrong spot can still kill. Jeez. Don't go dropping your guard just because this is a simulation. As if. I've got plans, and none of them involve dying here. <laughs> Oh, I'm all nervous. I hope this goes well. It's like my brother used to say. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Envision the self you wish to be, then take action to become him. <laughs> Gotta check the manual. We're gonna win this. In a landslide, for sure. <laughs> all right, let's go, you two. Move out. Okay. <laughs> what you call leadership potential right there. Demonstrating leadership potential. Hmm, your combat skills will be put to the test in this mock battle. We must capture the enemy base camp in area two. Oh, there are different areas. That's interesting. We got an enemy scout and shock trooper. We can get a machine gun stock as a part. Hmm. That's new. I don't know what that is. All right, next. Uh, place squad. Everybody's placed already. Whoops. Okay, good. I don't, I'm not trying to. There we go. All right, deploy. So there are different areas. I was kind of wondering how they would handle... You know, the, the PSP had some limitations, and uh, frankly, this looks amazing. I recognize that, you know, based on... Zeri, Cosette, we're beating these guys and getting in! Having recently played Valkyria Chronicles 1 and 4 before that, you know, this, this looks a little rough on the eyes, but this is incredible uh, for a handheld. But brass tacks, like, it couldn't process big areas, and so it looks like there's... I don't know, maybe like a staircase or like an elevator we take to another area here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Listen up. Field test is about to begin. If you want to make it back alive, listen up. Camps. The camps scattered around the field in this mission will play a large role in deciding the outcome of the battle. At camps you have captured, you can deploy reinforcements and command units to fall back and wait on standby. Your units also receive a bonus to their defense and HP recovery while in a camp that is under your control. Capture enemy camps to swing the tide of battle in your favor. First, head to the enemy base in the upper left part of this area. That's all. Show me what you're made of, maggots. What is... So he's recon based on that shape. Shock trooper. Is is that a mortar? Is she is she? I got it covered. What? Okay, so target. No. Okay. 
I don't know what her what type of like person she is here. G a grenadier, maybe? That might be a grenadier. Oh, healing. She doesn't even have a grenade. Hmm. Okay, well, let's cancel. What do I need to do to cancel? There we go. Grenades and clearing sandbags. When an enemy unit is crouching behind sandbags, it is difficult to do any significant damage to them. Even when attacking with a rifle or machine gun, you will need to spend a large amount of CP to defeat them. A grenade attack can be effective at times like this. It will destroy the sandbags, leaving the enemy defenseless. Change weapon. Yeah, she didn't have a grenade, though. To use a grenade, press the square button to change your weapon while in target mode. However, be aware that there is a limit of the number of grenades your units can carry. One grenade is replenished at the start of your turn, so keep this in mind when planning your strategies. But she doesn't... Yeah. I just... Yeah, that's a healing thing that she's got right there. And then just her rifle. Yeah, nine shots to kill. Boy, boy, a couple of those were some pretty significant whiffs. Hmm. Okay, so who has... Who's got a grenade? How can I tell? I mean, both of these guys should, but I don't- I just don't know what... What that symbol means. I don't know what her type of character is, so... Moving out. We'll get Zeri up here. Target, please. Oops. Send him uh, the bad news. Still got those sticker. Whoa. Okay, I thought I thought that might have hurt yes. Zeri also. Um, let's see. What do I need to do to go up? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa! I can't remember the controls for the views. <laughs> Capturing camps. To capture an enemy camp, you must first defeat any enemies that are guarding it. Once you've taken care of the enemies there, move an infantry unit up to the flag in the middle of the camp. Then capture. When your soldier is close enough, capture will appear on the screen. Press the circle button when this appears to capture the camp and claim it for your own. In summary, enemy camps are captured by defeating the enemies there and then moving up to the flag. Now it's time for you to try your hand at capturing the camp up ahead. I don't know, boss. I'm not sure I can do it. All right, good. He's down. Now that person, that bad guy right there is not crouching, but they have defense up anyway. So here, let's try... Moving out! Yeah, I mean, he should be able to get a lot closer. Crouch and target. Three shots, Avon. Coming at you. Nice. Nice. Enemy down. Now, can you go over the barricade? Oh shoot! Can't quite get there. There we go. All right. Well, end our phase. Hmm. Let's get her up here. here I go. She should be able to cap. Stand, please. I don't recognize that symbol. I mean, is that heal? Oh, she's an engineer. Oh, okay. I did. I that th she just reloaded him, and the engineers do that. So, okay. So she's an engineer. Oh wow, what is that gun she's got? It's like it's like a little shotgun or something. I don't know. We definitely have not seen that before. Um, okay. Captured an enemy camp. Stand by. You've successfully captured a camp. The camp is known as a gateway camp, which is a camp that connects two areas. By capturing this gateway camp, you are now able to deploy units in area two, which was previously inaccessible. 
However, you can only have a total of six units deployed in all areas at the same time. Use the gateway camp to pull units out of an area you have already secured by putting them on standby. Hmm. Placing units on standby sends them off the battlefield temporarily, adding them to your reserves. When you face a unit in a camp towards the flag in the center, standby appears on the screen. Press circle while standby is displayed. The unit will end their action and fall back into your reserve. So it's like the, uh, it's like the retreat, um, retreat function. It's a good idea to have units in areas you're taking control of fall back on standby. So, yeah, so you can, you can send everybody back on standby. Deployment and area movement. Have you got the hang of sending units back on standby now? Next, I'll explain how to deploy your units in the neighboring area. This may take a while to explain, but hang in there. It's a very important skill to learn. By capturing the gateway camp in area one, the gateway camp in area two automatically falls under your control. You can deploy reinforcements from the gateway camp in area two to push further into enemy territory. First, press uh, the shoulder buttons to display area two. Once it is displayed, move the cursor over the allied gateway camp that you have captured. Press the X button with the cursor over the camp to display a list of your reserves. Okay. Select the unit that you want to deploy from this list. The selected unit will begin their action from the gateway camp in area two. That's all there is to it. Have you got all that? In summary, remember these two points. Uh, shoulder buttons to switch areas, X button with the cursor over the camp to deploy. The objective of this mission is to capture the enemy base camp in Area 2. Base camps are captured in the same way as gateway camps, so head over there, wrest control of it from the enemy. Alright. So, we should be able... That did not I take... Oh, shoot. Yeah. It did... Oh, but it was instant. That's interesting. And get her engineers. Cassette's engineer unit class has two special skills. The first skill is the ability to use Ragnade. Ragnade is a medication used widely across Europa. To use Ragnade, press the square button to change your weapon while in target mode. If you use Ragnade when no unit is targeted, it will replenish your own hit points. If you move close to an ally and target them while using it, that unit's HP will be replenished. You can also heal allies that are quite far away. Second skill is the ability to restock ammunition that is carried in a limited supply, such as grenades. Move an engineer up to an allied unit to restock their ammunition to full. Engineers are a key unit that plays a crucial role in supporting your squad. Be sure to make effective use of them. Hmm, okay. I see one. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to hit start. Shoot, she could have gotten some, some shots right there. Alright, we gotta get back over here, get these guys moving up. Watch and learn. Okay, Zeri. Fallen units. Units that have taken enough damage to reduce their HP to zero will collapse on the ground. Unexpected damage is often the cause of units falling in battle, so just stay calm and deal with the situation. When an ally falls in battle, move another friendly unit up to them. This will allow you to withdraw the unit from battle. Units you have withdrawn receive treatment until you are phased two turns later when they can be deployed from your camps once more. However, if an enemy makes contact with the fallen ally, or if they are left in the field for three turns, they are hospitalized. Units that are hospitalized cannot be deployed again for the current mission. When one of your units falls in battle, be sure to send someone to their aid. Okay, so they don't die this time. If uh, the bad guys would touch them in the prior game, games, well, games one and four, the prior games that I've played, they were dead. Unless they were a story character. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Oh, what's he doing over there? 
Oof. Oh, wow. AP use up. So her, her weapon has a special effect on it. And you better hope she doesn't see you. Interception fire. Oh, man. She's doing some damage with that thing. It does not have very long range. But, uh, boy. Moving out. Yeah, that thing did some damage. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I really like what they did. Moving out. To, like, address the PSP's just limitations. Target. Oh, wow, and he's got, he's got a, mach his assault rifle. What, what's the term? I mean, his, his machine gun, basically. It's got the magazine on top. It's got a circle magazine on top. Jeez. Yes. That is, uh, okay. There was definitely somebody walking around over there. Okay. Yep, you can crouch. Then we'll call in Avon here. Be ready to let him okay, have it. Let's go. <coughs> it does not look like I can go over sandbags though. Yeah. I haven't seen a jump function or anything like that. Wow, okay, morale is up to four, and it's turned green. Interesting. Let's, let's run... Moving out! Zeri. Up here into the... Oh, there's a tank. There's a tank sitting right there, by golly. Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Oh, there's more. All right. Do you have to hold the gun like that, Zeri? Come on now. You're through. Oh gosh, I was pretty worried about that. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Yes. All right, we'll leave him right there. Oh, the tank. The tank is. The tank is like up there somewhere. It's way up there. Okay. Um, we'll try and get a Vaughn. Okay, let's go. Maybe Yvonne can wing a grenade Oop. to get that assaulter. Oh, that's a, oh, it's going to be tricky. Oh, no. Ow. I hit the wrong button. That is okay, terrible. Okay, let's go. Target, target. Change weapon. There we go. Hey, get some range. Coming at you. In a little bit of range anyway. I mean, it's not great. Boy. Yeah, there we go. All right. We need to get Cosette. Well, I don't know. I want, I'll be interested to see how the leveling up works. Ooh, there we go. Avon. I'm digging the music. Okay. Watch and learn. Okay. Yeah, you can't go over there. You're through. Are these also students. He yeah, is just. Just wrecking other students. Enemy yeah. Silent. Okay, so the morale is is climbing. We're up to five now. I wonder if that's consistent mission to mission. I don't know. I didn't pay enough attention from last time. Nice. They've got to let us in after that. I bet so. Now, nope. oh, C rank. Oh my gosh! Wow. Boy. All right, five turns. Really? Yes, I don't know. Yes, we did it. I have all three of you on Team A as having passed the written exam. Wow. Yes, that means you're in. Hey. Yay! I was so worried about the field exam, 
but we did it! It's because you guys helped push me along. No worries. <laughs> the field exam was the only part I wasn't worried about. <laughs> Next is the aptitude screening, you two. I try not to dawdle. What aptitude are they screening? Nah, guess we'll find out soon enough. Zeri. He's gonna end up being a good guy. We're ready to screen you. Step through the gate, please. What is it? That blue glow is Ragnite, right? What does this thing tell you? I don't get it. I did it, Avon! I got placed as an engineer! <laughs> is that what you wanted? Yeah! I want to be a doctor someday. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's pretty impressive. What did you get, Zeri? I placed as a shock trooper. And you? I'm not really sure. They told me I could be any unit class I wanted. Oh. Oh. Does that mean you have an aptitude for all of them? That's amazing! That, or an equal lack of aptitude for any of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got a point. You jerk. You're gonna be like this all the time. Don't you two start again. <laughs> we all just made it in. Let's try to get along. Yeah, I guess you're right. We're in this together now, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> I came here with a purpose. And I'll tell you now, it isn't to pal around with clowns like you. I'm going to the headmaster's office now for my class placement. What's that kid's problem? Thinks he's so special because he's got glasses. <laughs> um, I kind of doubt it's because of his glasses. Thank you, Cassette. Ooh, but I should head off now, too. I'll see you later, Avon. All right, next stop, the headmaster's office. Maybe I can get some info about Leon out of him while I'm there. It's worth a try, at least. Hmm. Save, yes, please. Oh, by golly. All right, let's see what uh, what the head head office person has to say here. Enter. Hmm. Avon Harden, sir. I just passed the entrance exam. Ah, congratulations. Let me be the first to welcome you to Lancio. I am the headmaster here, Lawrence Clivert. It's nice to meet you, Avan. Hmm. It seems your exam results place you in Class G. I hope you'll make the most of your time here at Lancio, my boy. Um... Is there something else, son? I wanted to ask you about my brother, Leon Hardens. Leon was your... I see. Leon was just a student here. How could he just go and die? Your brother was a student of great promise and a true patriot. He stood out amongst his peers in intelligence, strength, and leadership. Uh. I'm afraid national security concerns prevent me from giving details. But just before his death, he was appointed to a special mission. Ooh. A special mission? That's right. I remember it from Leon's letter. Oh, you can't put that sort of stuff in letters? Come on now. I've been selected for a special mission. It's an honor and an opportunity. That was his last letter. The next I heard was from that Brixham guy. As I imagine you know, this is Gallia's only military academy, Ivan. Hmm. The students here study and train tirelessly to keep their nation safe. That was Leon's aim in accepting the mission that cost him his life as well. Sadly, that is all I can tell you. That and that your arrival here... Well, I feel Leon's hand is guiding you to us. Maudlin as it sounds. Hmm. Galia's people are living in fear and anguish in the face of rebel atrocities. I pray you will grow to become a powerful force for justice, Avan. Yes, sir. 
I'll do my best. Hmm. <laughs> Whew, finally unpacked. So I guess this is home now. For my first crack at dorm living, it's not so bad. Oh man, I'm bushed. <sighs> Between that train ride and the exam, I'm gonna sleep like a rock. Better get a good night's sleep in before classes start up tomorrow. Uh, I mean, what are my other options? Okay, looks like there's gonna be some sort of room functionality here. Hang on, can I back out? Yeah, okay. Can't. Can I save? Is there a save option? Nope, just sleep. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Is it, maybe there's gonna be some other options of things to do in the room. I don't know. Save my game? Yeah, definitely. This doesn't, you know, it's not told in the form of a book, it doesn't seem. So today marks my, uh, marks the start of my life as a cadet. Better be careful not to screw it up on day one. Leon, if you please. Drum roll, and nice! Man is king of his realm until he gets overwhelmed. Take it all in slowly. I just wish I knew more about what happened to you, Leon. Came here to find out, but so far it's all still a big blank. But it's like you said, I'll take it slow and earn the Headmaster's trust. Maybe he'll tell me more about that mission once I've earned a rep. I'll do it! Now that that's settled, I'm stoked to get started. Next stop, Classroom G. <laughs> Like the animations. Which is where again? Gah, stupid campus is so big I'm totally lost. What? Who shows up late to class on the first day? <laughs> hey buddy, where's Class G's homeroom at? Class G, it's in the next building over. Got it, thanks. <laughs> hey! Oh, my bad. Sorry. Uh-oh. Mid-ground collision. That was getting it close. A little too close. Uh, made it. Inappropriate camera angle right there. Cosette? What are you doing here? Well, I woke up early so I wouldn't have to rush, then ate a good breakfast. But then I was so full, I kind of nodded off. I got here just under the wire. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, it's Zeri. What do you mean, what are we doing here? We got put in Class G. What? Oh, of course I had to be placed with you. <laughs> oh, wow. Yay! I'm in Class G, too. All three of us are together. This academy has ill use for a group of failures such as yourselves. Whoa, is that coming from the classroom? Hmm, identify yourselves. Me? I'm Yvonne Hardens. I'm in Class G starting today. Hmm, another fine misfit for your pathetic little club. I'm Juliana Everhart, chair of Class A, the finest class at Landseal. <laughs> Your class is a sort of landfill for those with abysmal entrance scores. Hey, what's your deal? It's the unalloyed truth. <laughs> you haven't even produced a class chair. Your sustained presence at this academy shames me. You stain Landseal's name. Bleh. Sweet, it's giving me some Minerva vibes right here. I put it to you, Rejects. Is there not a single volunteer for a class chair? Uh, um. Hmm. 
Not a one. You see? Just as I said, Class G is a... Here! <laughs> huh? What, me? Wait a second. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, oh my! What am I doing? I just got so angry listening to her talk, my hand just shot up! With my hand in it? <laughs> huh. Ridiculous. It's painfully obvious that you don't have what it takes. What? What's your problem? Talking down to everybody like you own the place. You want a class chair? Fine, I'll do it. Please. You're barely fit to follow, let alone lead. That takes an elite. What a tiresome word. There are few things more pathetic than the pedigree of a self-styled elite. Y you impertinent beast! A darksin! Presuming to mock me! I'll have your... Break it What's up. What's going on here? Even you lot don't usually make this much noise. Is that a magic wand? Are we gonna learn magic? Is this Harry Potter? Brixum. Juliana. Is there a reason you've chosen to visit us today? Professor Brixham, I was just on my way. All right, let's begin today's lesson, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> Never thought I'd wind up in your class. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are to see that you actually <laughs> matriculated even. Now then, before we begin class, I'd like to introduce a few new students. This is Yvonne, Cosette, and Zeri. Yo! Yvonne Harden's guys, my hobbies include sleeping and eating. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, and I'm sure we'll all get on great. It's worth mentioning that Yvonne here is Leon Harden's younger brother. The Scarlet Lion's brother has enlisted? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I can see the resemblance. What? You all knew him? Leon was an exceptionally gifted cadet, making him something of a celebrity. Let's return to your introductions, Cosette. I'm Cosette Cole Hearth. My hobby is, uh, sewing, I guess. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I'm Zeri. What? Whoa, is that a Darkson? What's up with that? Oh, man! Oof, I don't want anyone bringing misfortune down on us here, dude. Yvonne will serve as class chair. You seriously want me to do it? You think I can? Yes, class G is a bottomless pit of students with no hint of motivation. <laughs> The teacher! The teacher just calling everybody out here! And ambiv an ambivalent newcomer is a vast improvement. Jeez! Isn't that kind of harsh? How does a teacher say that about his own class? Listen up now. It's the truth! Lanseal has no need for those cadets unwilling to try. Organizing and outfitting the squad for training exercises will be your job. You'll have to learn the ropes between classes. You get no special allowances. Well, all right, fine, I'll do it. You can start right now. The class needs a squad name. My name? Aren't we already Class G? Here at Land Seal, each class is also considered to be a single squad. I'll do it. Okay, I don't really get it, but I can do names. Enter a squad name. It can be up to six letters. The information you enter may be sent to other players, so avoid using personal or other sensitive information. We can change it. If you don't input a name, squad G will be used. I'll just use squad G. That's totally fine. Squad, squad G is great. Let's do start. Uh, okay. You can also earn titles by meeting certain conditions in the game. Okay. We can change the name from Yvonne's room. Boom. There you go. That's what we're calling it. Squad G. 
Understood. Then let's begin our lesson. Class, get out your books. Avon has been made the leader. When Avon is on the battlefield, you will have one extra command point to use. Oh, okay. In other words, when Avon, with Avon as the commander in the field, you will be able to move more squad members. Be aware that if you end a phase with Avon not in the field, you won't receive the extra CP for your next phase. To begin, here is today's news. The briefing room is now available, a new mission has been assigned, and events info was added to the yearbook. You earned the title Promising, Dream, Light, Clockwork, Fair Play, Sprinters, Jeez, game progress, here we go. Progress is made, uh, is made in this game by completing missions. The story develops as you complete missions and you will also receive rewards for your efforts. Bolster your squad using mission rewards and keep working on missions you haven't completed yet to move the story forward. You will sometimes see an exclamation mark on the uh, in the academy grounds. Select this to view events involving your classmates. Stop and take a look when you need a break from the missions. All right, it's time for you to head to the briefing room to get a mission assigned to you. Interesting. I, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Um, first things first, I want to save. Um, I think I'm actually, I'm actually going to end this one here. Um, this was a lengthy first episode. I had planned on going a little bit shorter than this, kind of like I did with the first episode of Valkyria Chronicles 1. Um, man, this is really cool. It is so great to be experiencing one of these just totally cold, no idea what the story is, you know, and then seeing, seeing, um, Galia two years later. Th this is, this is awesome. I'm so excited about this. I hope you are too. Uh, the uh, full playlist will be in the pinned comment and the playlists for the other games if you uh, just kind of want to get ahead or, you know, see what happened in Valkyria Chronicles 1 and 4. And eventually I'll do 3 as well. So depending on when you watch this, the Valkyria Chronicles 3 playlist may be up as well. You can check those out in the video description. But I uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you're looking forward to this. I certainly am. And of course, thanks for watching.